All right, here we are. Let's see if this is actually going to work. This is our first live stream. I believe this is going to be a live stream that's actually going to work um, with all of the relevant information correct. So let me bring up stats. Stream live. Total data output, good. Bit rate, good. Frames missed due to rendering lag, five. Skips due to encoding lag, zero. Okay. Perfect. That's what I want to see, right? Solid 60, 1080p. A 7900X 1080 Ti backed by a 1070. And the 1070 is where the actual um, encoding is being done. <laughs> you would hope a system like that would be able to actually do what it's doing. Like, what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so we are building some smart plate because we see the big elevator. Yep. So we're trying to do tier one of the elevator. Tier one will, I think, I hope, unlock coal. If it does unlock coal, now we're actually able to proceed, but a little bit of a tour. So solid biofuel is being created. We have two bioreactors. Re is that the term for these? Biomass burner. All right, and we are creating a lot of solid biofuel. So that's what this stack here is for. So we have storage right here in the middle for grass. Grass is coming down the conveyor belt into here. This is converting grass into biomatter. Then that biomatter is coming back down on the front side here. Yay, we into this. And this is creating the biomass that you guys saw. Now, I have not been as diligent here recently of gathering grasses as I probably should have been. Just checking the stream. Stream seems okay. Perfect. Oh, here's my friend Houston. If he ever shows up, don't know if he's joining tonight. He might have gotten in trouble. Uh, you know, we're, we both have spouses, partners, kids, all of that jazz. So, you know, not every day we're able to join and play together. Um, so I do have, I'm sure you can hear the computer over there whirling away. That's going to be annoying. Um, cookie keyboard here as well, probably going to be annoying. So eventually, eventually, um, building a new computer. Trying to focus on AMD, hopefully, with this, this latest round. I, I just want AMD to do well. Like... They, they really, really stuck it to Intel, and that's great. Great to see that competition. Uh, not too happy that Intel is not able to get onto their smaller nanometer processes. Not getting those chips that out. That, uh, that definitely kind of hurts competition. You know, I don't want AMD to get compliant. Um, not compliant, complacent. That's the word I'm looking for. So I don't want them to get complacent. I want them to still be hungry. You know, being behind. Like, look at what happened with Microsoft again with Xbox. Right, oop, 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 oop. Let's go. Let's tango. Got one. Got two. Ooh, got me. Got three. Got them. <sighs> I don't really like having to hurt the, the animals, but you know, if, if they're going to mess with me, then I got to do something back. Like, it, it even tells you, hey, you're damaging our property. Stop it. Uh, I'm going to pretend that that's referring to the suit and not me. Uh, I, I, think, I think we can just agree on that right now. I got one batch of leaves here. Need more. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to be an AMD-based system. It is going to be Ryzen. Uh, I am holding off for the new Ryzen, and I am probably right there. See, 
damage to face it property. There he went. There he is. All right. Now they circle you. Got him. Jump. Got him. Oop, oop, oop. Missed. Oh, come on, come on. I'm going to say it's because I'm live streaming. That's why. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they're able to get a top tier GPU. A little bit of stutter. Let's see what the frames missed. Yeah, a little more frames missed due to the GPU. All right, well, I mean, this is 7900X, 1080Ti, backed by 1070. Um, you would think uh, 6,000 6, kilobit per second. Kilobit? Kilobyte. Kilobit. Kilobit per second. So hopefully the, the outbound is good. Um, it's good quality. That's, that's always the goal. So if AMD is able to pull it off, um, that's what I want to go with. Just an all AMD system and... Yeah, like let's let's give N Nvidia a reason to be hungry. They themselves, if you if you listen to some of the rumors and the things that they're talking about, like they themselves are even saying like, yeah, we want we want some competition um, to push the envelope. You know, now of course they say that if they really mean it is to be determined, TBD. But we'll see. I never, I never figured out what to do with that smoke. Oop, oop, yeah, geez, I even got too close there, really? That, that was not that close. All right, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the goal, but I have to wait, right? Stuff's not out yet. I have... Pretty much most of oh, drop some frames. I noticed it. Uh, I have pretty much the build planned out. I think it's going to be a really nice build. Um, plenty powerful, plenty of space. Uh, it's going to be really nice. And and I'm planning on having some of my first actual videos. Um, that I'm going to record and publish be around that build series, right? So putting that system together, modding it, um, case, all of that stuff. Don't know if you guys heard dinner plate. That's my wife. I'm willing to bet that she might be eating some popcorn. We'll see. Okay. Uh, Houston never got back to me, so I don't think he's going to join tonight. If he does, I want to get him on stream. I really want to see if he's able to talk and you guys are able to hear. Uh, that would be awesome. Okay, I am tr going to try not to say you guys. Okay, 21st century, I have a daughter. Um, I, I realize... We were taught masculine superiority rule and, and all of that in English classes growing up, but I really need to get a different term, right? It's not just guys who are on YouTube and into video games. Um, so, yeah, need a different term. Oop, I'm not going to mess with you guys. I'm just going to back off. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is in this rock? Can I harvest you? Yes! I can. How much can I harvest you? 29. Good answer. Because, you know, an even number like 30 wouldn't make sense. So, that's why you go 29. Alright. So, this is... This is what Satisfactory is all about, right? Alright. I got 13... 1300 leaves in. So, leaves coming down ever so slowly. I'm really going to have to update these conveyor belts. They, they are just moving too slow. Alright, 
So this guy is going to get all of his processing put together. Eventually, I think that these guys update or upgrade, but I'm not sure. All right, hard to see, but right there, right up there went the biomass. Okay, so that goes into the third. The reason I put that in the highest one, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not going to touch it. I don't need to touch it because it's going to go in there for storage and hopefully immediately out and down our slide here. There it is. Right. So that's that's standard biomass. Right. That is going to load into this guy, another constructor. That is going to output the heavier biomass. Now I'm not sure what the full term is. I mean, it looks like bales of hay, to be honest. Shiny bales of hay. That is called, geez, solid biofuel. Okay, well, bales of hay are solid biofuel, apparently, right? And then this is storing it. So now I have easy access to all of the solid biofuel that I need, take it over, and I can manually power up those guys as we need it. This stage of the game, that's that is fine. Um, when you start really needing an automated energy source, where you have so many different miners out doing their thing, you really, really need full automation of your power with things like these bio burners, um, just serving as backup. Right, that is their job, along with the ones on your hub. So these are the two on the hub. I do have this one active. Uh, what's my peak? Yeah, see, it's peaking at 50. Um, I don't think I need you on. I'm going to put him to standby. Now, okay, to be honest, I, I get it. You're trying to put a factory together. That, that chair, you can hear it. I know you can hear it. That's annoying. I gotta figure out how to solve that. It's a great chair, very comfortable, but it's still a chair and it squeaks. I'm not happy about that squeak. So if anybody knows how to take a squeak out of a Herman Miller chair, let me know. Um, I've looked to oil it. I have blown it uh, with a electric compressor for lack of a better word. Uh, it's the smaller type that you would use for electronics, right? So it's it's designed for that sort of thing. I've looked how to oil it. I can't exactly find where, and I know that that's what that squeak is. Like that is that is some pieces rubbing together. It's annoying. So I want to get that taken care of. All right. So tonight I'm not going to really stream for a long time. I am just going to get this tier one done I need nine more of those so nine more then we will be able to ooh, it's pretty look at that thing pretty cool aesthetic that they chose not to stack it together um, so recently finished up Astroneer uh, Houston and I finished that game up really cool premise like bravo for taking this kind of game, and and I don't want to call it a story, but given a solid mystery to go figure out, and a reason to go explore, and a reason to build everything out, like that was pretty smart on them. Um, when I saw that game the first time a couple of years ago, I'm like, I don't like the art style, I don't like the aesthetic. Um, I think it's roughly the time that Satisfactory here actually came out, and I played this then. I like this a whole lot better from an art standpoint. Um, just just give me that raw technical. I thought Astroneer was a little too comic in its art design, cell shade. Um, but was able to overcome that, surprisingly. So able to overcome it look at it and and 
fell into the mystery, and at that point, nothing else mattered, right? So we spent a good, a good solid month. Like I logged probably easily 100, 150 hours into that game over the last month. Um, I, I was adamant that I didn't want to solve things without Houston, so I did a lot of the organization stuff. I did a lot of the bear, like, hey, let's let's make sure that we have what is this quartz iron. Um, ooh, two iron things. It's perfect. Need a beacon. Um, let's make sure that we have enough automation going. I did the automation challenges. I thought that those were pretty cool. Um, pretty good idea. Encouraged me to, to get all of that set up as well. And even though it didn't come down to it, like I was able to automate all the way to nanocarbon. Um, I had processes just running all over the place that could get me nanocarbon kind of on demand. Um, so that was fun. Arms. <laughs> um, okay, take a lesson from Factorio. If you have arms, the basic arm is good for basic tasks like loading and unloading. But you have to have intelligence at a certain point. They need smart arms. Just, I. The switches are fine, but being able to say, hey, this is what you're grabbing, <clears throat> right? If I was able to have all of the canisters loaded up, and I was able to tell the arm, this is what you're grabbing, this is where you're putting it, alternate between different places that you're putting it as well. Like, I had two smelters together, and it would never balance between them. Uh, it would build towards one, and then it would build eventually towards the other one, right? It's like, no, just just balance between the four. Like, give me some intelligence to be able to tune some of that stuff. All right, so Houston already found this one. That's a cool arch. Always be grabbing leaves. That is the beginning game of S of... Oop, hi, bud. That is the beginning game of Satisfactory. Always be grabbing leaves. <laughs> I finished them with a punch. Um, again, I'm. I don't like fighting those things. Like I get a a villain, a challenge, a, a physical adversary is is nice to have in a game, but like. Come on. I don't really want to punch a whole bunch of animals just because they're kind of in the way. That looks like coal. Right there. Center of screen. Just flashed. Winked at us. I believe that that is coal. And if that is coal, we're going to build a bridge. We are going to build a bridge over to that coal. Because I want it. I want coal coming to my factory. Totally is coal. Alright. Okay, there's the factory. There's limestone down this way. This map feels familiar. Um, when I played this the first time a couple, I'll just call it a year ago, at least, um, I think I played on this map. Now I have a dilemma. Uh oh. Alright. Not what I wanted. Where'd you go? Hi, bud. Like, dude, if you will leave me alone, I won't kill you. Alright, just walk away. Walk away. Alright, and 
I like things flat. Alright, so oh shoot. Give me that back. I know, I know. You can use the bar at the bottom. Alright, I I played wow, I played all of those games. I know. There's a bar at the bottom. But at this stage I just don't care to have to push a whole bunch of buttons just to get things rolling like that. Alright, we're gonna need a ramp. Oh no, the bees. Oh no, the fire guy. Oh no, this guy's hard. I wish I had the gun. Nope, nope, abort, abort, abort. Go back and get some. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Now, I believe that, I think that takes all of my stuff away, but I think it might be on the edge. I think it might be on the edge of where I fell. Alright, if it is, I will get it tomorrow. Not going to get it today. 50. I needed 49, I got 50. I am fine with that. Right. So there is our ginormous space elevator. I love this thing. It looks so awesome. Just gonna walk over, deposit. I wish Houston was here on this, but I need to get this open. And I'm gonna check, did he reply? He did not. Delivered 25 minutes ago. All right, seal it up. Crunch. Locked. Send it. Of course, I'm going to let you see the send off. There it is. All right, it's going to fire. And there it goes. Some kind of maglev. Magnetic levitation, kind of a deal. I don't know what these arms do. Uh, because if it was maglev, like you'd be able to stop it right here with the magnets, charge up the track, and then just start moving it with the magnets. So why do I need these little arms doing these this little thing? For counterbalance, like I get it, right? To keep this thing secured and in and, and place, totally get it, totally understand. But to send that thing off, uh, can we ask? Don't get it. And now it's back. Yay! Alright, so that was that tier. And oh, yes! Look what it is. And what do we need? Reinforced plate, roto cable. So I'm going to be honest, right now we don't have any of this uh, kind of on a, a factory basis. Definitely something that we're going to have to build out. There's the tractor, truck station. Never got into those um, previous game. Like they seemed fine, but I didn't know why I would need them, right? Because I could go build out and then bring the thing in with the conveyor belts. So why would I need the truck? So, all right. Jump pads, that's another thing. I never used them. Like, to me, the jump pad, this sink, these two things, like, just seemed like a sink. This, this we need, stackable conveyor belt poles, multi-lines, right? You can have conveyors doing this number then. It's kind of cool. So mainly I just wanted to start the stream, start getting some content out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to make this a thing. I'm going to try to to actually put out some content that people are going to enjoy. So stay tuned, hopefully for that, and uh, more announcements to come. Goodbye and thanks for watching.